This is Frogmore Meadows Nature Reserve, and as you can see, it's just situated just off uh, the River Chess, so in the Chess Valley. And this is a really small uh, wetland site uh, that the Trust manage, and as a result, uh, it doesn't have full access because it is quite sensitive, and parts of it are also uh, a triple SI. So what we've done as part of the lottery project is that we've taken uh, a section of the Chess Valley Walk and just created this viewing platform off it. So people who walk along the Chess Valley Walk can just hopefully spend a bit of time just stepping off it and just spending time at the top here overlooking the river. It's a really lovely peaceful site. And as you can see you get really excellent views there of the river. So we've dug these channels in this wetland area that we know is already used by water voles. And the idea is hopefully it's opened up some of the water. It means hopefully uh, kingfishers will be able to reuse this area and fish again. And also that water voles uh, will be able to feed and hopefully people will get a good view of them uh, nipping back and forth across these channels. So it should be a really fantastic spot to just come and spend even just a few minutes just looking at what is just a really peaceful part of the river. So normally when water voles make their burrows, they'll use the, the nice banks sides of a, a watercourse. That's where they'll normally build their nests. But there are situations where there isn't a really decent bank structure, and it means that there isn't somewhere that the burrows uh, can be built. Um, and as a result, water voles are quite cunning, and they will find other places to build their nests. And normally we'll see them perhaps in a, a reed bed built in and amongst the rushes. We've just had this fence put in, and you can see here, We've actually built one right onto barbed wire. We've not ever seen anything like this before. But obviously, as the water level changes, there isn't a huge amount of area around here, um, especially in this section, that they can build a burrow in the banks. So obviously, to get around that, they've just built one that <laughs> looks quite precarious or on the fence here. And uh, hopefully, that's where the water vole female will uh, have her young and she'll raise uh, her family and then use it potentially as a roost in the winter as well. So this is a really good sign. This fence only went up uh, last year. It just shows already they're uh, making the, the best use of it, really. So part of the project works here at Frogmore involved us digging these two ponds. And this is just to create some additional habitat for water voles within the site. So hopefully uh, they'll use the stretch of the river and also uh, the two ponds. It's also a really fantastic site for dragonflies as well. And what we've done is we've fenced them off because we'd really like to get grazing into this part of the meadow. Uh, but if cattle have full access uh, to the ponds, they can compress the bank size down and they can reduce the amount of vegetation that's there. And that means the habitat won't be particularly ideal for water voles. So we've left an area of the ponds unfenced so that the cattle can still get access to drink. But the rest has been fenced off, hopefully meaning we'll get loads and loads of vegetation growing up and some really excellent water will have. So we dug these ponds last year. They were finished uh, in June of last year. So we've still got um, a little bit of vegetation to grow up yet, but hopefully uh, at the end of this spring and summer, it will start looking like some really top-notch water vole habitat.